This is the Baja Drift Edition, baby. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order. RCMK engine, brand new, super fake eBay 990 Walbro carve. I don't care, it runs. I'm gonna show you that it runs. And yeah, this finally has a kill switch. So before you tell me, bro, where your kill switch? It, it's got one. Ugh. These fit scales, they're not light. Am I recording? Yeah, that's good. Gonna give it a prime. I noticed I have to prime this primer bulb like about 15 times for actually to start well. And yeah, this 990 does not have a choke. That is probably the reason why, but who cares? It's gonna start up. I'm missing the spark plug cover just because I was doing maintenance. I do have it, I will get it eventually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. It should fire up on maybe the first or second pull. One, yep. Finally, something that works. crazy I'm basically just you know running a tank of fuel through this car to see whether in fact it is an actual piece of shit and what people say about getting original wall bro carbs is uh, not total nonsense so far I'm actually happy with the performance of this thing oh. This is the Baja Drift Edition, baby! Oh! It's okay, not front brakes, we got the disc! Check out the kill switch, guys! Kill switch works, third channel! Finally, I got myself a fit scale with a kill switch! Amazing! All right, yeah, so you heard that. I mean, it returned back to idle quite well. I don't know what the big issue with these fake, you know, $12 eBay Walbro knockoff carbs are. I've experienced absolutely zero issues with it so far. You saw how it started, no choke, nothing. So what's the big deal, guys? Just let me know, $12, you know, what are you gonna do? And it came with like a fuel line and a bunch of everything else that, I, you know, sometimes need. All right, I'm gonna turn it back on. Gotta engage the kill switch to, you know, not actually be cutting spark to the plug and it should start up. Okay. It should start up on the first pull now. That's right, baby! I like this thing. By the way, I have not tuned it for high speed at all. I haven't even done high speed passes with this yet. This is just me playing around, you know, chilling. We're not at full throttle. I'm basically like at half throttle when I was just doing. Man, RCMK is kicking some ass out here. I'm gonna do the kill switch again. 
Yep, it works. Make sure you test your kill switch. You know, I had an accident before. That's why you haven't seen the Red Cat Riley Rampage, guys. And by the way, why am I yelling again? I keep yelling in all my videos. You know why? It's because I don't do any BS and I don't constantly run electrics. I run real gas, real nitro, real internal combustion engines. We gotta yell. Guess what? If I forget to lower the audio output of this video, just lower the audio on your TV. In case you want to see how fast this was, keep in mind I haven't even tuned the high speed needle. I basically only stuck to tuning the low speed needle to make sure the RPMs are good. This is just, you know, however I felt like putting it. And guys, that was 42 miles an hour. Really, really fast. I know my uh, 30cc Roven with the much taller tires topped out at 44 miles an hour. So if I put those larger tires on here, this might actually be the first fit scale RC I own that will hit 50. If you guys want to see me do that in the future, I will. But oh man, I just noticed. Look at this. We have what looks like an exhaust leak. It looks like somebody tried to make an exhaust gasket here, but clearly it's not working. Maybe they were missing the actual gasket. I don't know. But this is something we'll investigate later. This thing runs great so far. The $12 eBay fake Walbro carb uh, seems to be doing its job. It works. Oh yeah, kill switch works. That's right, baby. If you smell what the nitro gang is cooking. Like, she says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to move. 